सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास फोर टाइटल्ड मैथ मैजिक फोर पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री चैप्टर थ्री टाइटल्ड अ ट्रिप टू भोपाल पार्ट वन टूडे सुगंधा इज वेरी एक्साइटेड ऑल द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ हर स्कूल are going on a trip to bhopal with their teachers miss minakshi and mr rakesh are talking about the number of buses needed miss minakshi says uh we will need four buses mr rakesh says i think we need at least five miss minakshi says each bus has 50 seats Mr Rakesh says Let us observe how many children are going There is a table given here on page number 23 This table has two columns in it The first column is of the class The next column is of the number of children Class 1 has 33 children Class 2 has 32 children Class 3 has 42 children Class four has fifty children. Class five has fifty-three children. Now you have to write total number of children. A talking bubble is given here on page number twenty-three. It reads: Do we need four buses? Hmm. One bus can take fifty children. Four buses can take fifty into four. Hmm. That is. So there are a total of dash children going. If they get four buses, how many children will get seats? Dash. Will there be any children left without seats? Again on page number twenty-three, two talking bubbles are given. One lady is saying, "For just a few children, we can't get another bus." The second one says we can share seats. Children should be encouraged to estimate first and then find out the answer using any method they want. It is important to discuss the methods children use to solve a problem. Page number 24. Waiting for the buses. Sahiba jumps out of the line. to check if the buses are coming she shouts loudly i can observe them run grab the window seats many children start jumping in excitement but here on page number 24 a picture has been given in this picture students are waiting outside for the buses they are standing in a line One of the teachers says, "Stop! What is this? These buses are so small." Now there is an argument. The teacher says, "We told you to bring big buses." The conductor of the buses say, "We did not have enough big buses, so we got many mini buses." There is a picture given here on page number twenty-four. with many small buses in it we can observe the school children rushing and going into the buses to take their seats each mini bus can take 35 students how many mini buses are needed dash page number 25 the journey begins There is a picture drawn here on page number 25. A man is telling his son, "Come on. Take again. Come on now. Come on now. Get in fast. It's already 9 o'clock." As the buses start moving, children sing at the top of their voices. Some observe outside to enjoy the view of the green fields and the hills. Indra says, When will we reach Bhopal? To which Miss Asha replies, "If we don't stop anywhere, 
we should reach there in two hours. That is around dash o'clock. Manjeet asks, "Is it very far?" To which Mr. Bhim Sen replies, <laughs> "It is about seventy kilometers." Now Ruby asks, "Are we going to stop anywhere?" To which Mr. Rakesh replies, "Maybe at Bhim Betka, about fifty kilometers from here." If they go to Bhim Betka. They will reach there before ten o'clock, between ten o'clock and eleven o'clock, and after eleven o'clock. As they are talking, Bahadur shouts, "Hey, look at the Narmada!" Everyone observes out of the windows. Ruby says, "Wow, it is so long and so wide. Let us guess." How wide it is! There is a picture given here on page number twenty-five of two bridges crossing over the Narmada River. Page number twenty-six. Gopi says, "Um, hundred meters. No, it is much more. Um, can't say." To which Victoria says. It must be more than half a kilometer. After hearing this, Miss Asha replies, "Look, it is written. This bridge is seven hundred and fifty-six point eight two meters long. So we can guess that the Narmada must be about five hundred meters wide at this place." Was Victoria right? Sadaf says. I just can't imagine five hundred meters. To which again, Miss Asha replies, "See, a bus is about five meters long. Imagine how many buses can stand in a line on this bridge." Have you ever crossed a long bridge? About how many meters long was it? Dash. Everyone observes down at the river. Mr. Rakesh says, "The water level now is quite low. It must be about forty meters below the bridge." To which Miss Asha replies, "Hmm. But in the rainy season, the water had risen. Then it was just about fifteen meters below the bridge." What is the difference between the water level of the Narmada in the rainy season and now? Dash meters. The children discuss about the river for some time. There is a picture drawn here on page number twenty-six of a river and a bridge going over the river. Page number twenty-seven. Suddenly, the bus stops with a jerk. Oh, the petrol pump! Two buses need to be refilled. The buses stand in a line. Children are sticking their necks out to see how diesel is filled in the bus. Some children have got down to observe more closely. Each bus takes about fifteen minutes to refill, and there are two buses to be refilled. So they stop there for about dash minutes, which means they are late by about dash minutes. Here on page number twenty-seven, there is a picture given. This picture is of a petrol pump, where all the buses are getting refilled with diesel. One of the students says, "Hey, it has such a big tummy. It has already taken hundred liters." And then another student says. So we have to pay thirty-five hundred rupees for the diesel. Observe the picture and find the price of one liter of diesel. Dash. As the buses are being refilled, some children go to the toilet near the petrol pump. How much time did Aman take to come out of the toilet? Dash. A student makes joke of Aman, saying. Aman has taken as much time to empty himself as one bus is taking to refill. Page number 
28 to bhim betka after the buses are refilled the journey starts again now the children are told that they are stopping at bhim betka anjan says what is bhim betka to which miss raina replies it's a place with lots of caves and cave paintings made by people 10000 years ago sumonto says 10000 years i cannot even think of 1000 years back gopi replies oh 1000 years is a big thing i can't even think of 100 years after hearing this gauri says I can think of 100 years because my father's grandmother is 100 years old. To which Manjeet replies, That means those caves are almost 100 great grandmothers old. <laughs> Everybody bursts into a laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Now the children are really excited to observe the cave paintings. It is about 11 o'clock. when they reach bhim betka there is a picture of a cave painting made in bhim betka given on page number 28 one of the children says oh these rocks are thousands of years old to which another child replies wow even 10000 years ago people made such lovely paintings that too on rocks You were just listening to chapter 3 titled A Trip to Bhopal Part 1 ends here Narrators Shalini Singh and Vaibhav Shrivastav Sound recordists Buddy Lang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar Assistance in production by Shanu Mukseem and Jagbandhu Jana Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This book was presented to you by C I E T N C E R T New Delhi India